So a couple of days ago, my wife is on Twitter and she gets a creepy DM from some dude named Stephen Dwayne. And he says, how are you doing, baby? Do you need help financially? So I log into my wife's Twitter and I tell her that I will be taking over from here. This video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Protect your identity online and save 83% when you use my link below. Anyway, this Steven guy sounds like a real charmer. And I check out his Twitter bio and it says, I was young and broke once. Why not share the wealth I have now? Follow my instructions to automatically be entered into a draw. College students and non-students. Well, I'm not exactly a poor young college girl like he apparently is targeting, but I do like free money. So I strike up a conversation with Steven and I say, what kind of financial help, LOL? And he responds and he says, where are you from and how old are you, baby? Yikes, I say 24, Las Vegas, LOL. He says, I'm from California, but recently in Tokyo working in a private hospital, baby. I really wish he would stop saying baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Can I know more about you, baby? Have you ever had a sugar daddy before? I said, no, I haven't. What do you want to know, haha? -ha? This is how you flirt when you text, by the way. You just add haha -ha after everything. But anyway, he said, I'm here looking for a sugar baby who's loving, caring, sincere, honest, and understanding to take care and spoil rotten with allowances. I said, sounds good to me, LOL. He said, we can start off your allowance with $500 twice in a week into I'm going to be getting feet pictures from you every time. Feet pictures? What is he talking about? He said, send me feet pictures and you will get your allowance immediately when I receive it, LOL. What kind of a freak gets turned on from pictures of feet? But I figured if I was gonna get my money, I better find him some pictures of feet. So I got on Instagram and I realized that there's a hashtag called feet porn. And I find some nice pictures of feet and I send it over. And he says, wow, your feet are beautiful. You are getting your first $500 weekly allowance today, okay. Yeah, baby, I have much money to spoil you. You can make your account empty and I will surely fund that for you. This is making me very uncomfortable. He said, who do you bank with, baby, so you can receive your allowance today? So I gave him the name of my credit union and he said he would be making a deposit to my account. But to continue the conversation, he asked me for my cell phone number so we could continue the conversation over text. I guess you could say things are getting pretty serious. So I give him my number and we start texting. And he tells me that in order to make the deposit, he needs my bank account username and password. Yeah, that's not how deposits work. He probably just wants access to my account so he can drain it. So I start researching this Steven guy and I do a reverse Google image search for his profile picture. And it looks like he's ripped off the picture from a guy named Paul Andrew Whitesides who seems to have a pretty decent following and he loves to take selfies. So many selfies. Dang it, this is a scam and I'm not gonna get my $500. But he tries to reassure me that I'll get my money if I hand over my bank account info by sending me a conversation that he had with another one of his sugar babies. Yeah, I'm still not buying it. So I give him a bogus username and a password to buy me some time while I think of a plan. And he writes back and he says that the credentials aren't working. And I'm like, oh, that's because that's the wrong bank. It's this one. So I send him a link to another random bank, but it's a redirect link that I created at grabify.link. This will tell me his IP address if he clicks on it. And of course he clicked on it, showing me exactly where he is. All this time I've been flirting with a Nigerian scammer, but he's not gonna quit until he gets his money. So he tells me to double check my username and password and that's when I say, okay, can I ask a favor? He says, what is that, baby? I said, can you send me a picture of your feet? LOL, I will, baby, but when I'm back at the meeting, okay? I want to make the deposit of your allowance before going for a meeting, so send me the new login. I said, but I wanna see your feet first. And then he starts saying that if I don't get in my bank info, he's not going to make the deposit today. But I say, I don't need the money right now, I want to see your feet. And sure enough, I get a picture of his feet. 
Okay, the first question I have is, how did he get a picture of the bottom of his feet? <laughs> then I did a reverse image search for his picture and uh, check it out. It's the same picture on some other dude's Instagram. Just not as scaled in. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and guess that these are not Stephen Dwayne's abs. He says, that's my feet, baby, so don't want to be a bad person. Just let me make this fast and have a rest, baby, okay? And I'm like, if you don't want to be a bad person, then why are you lying to me? He said, send me the new login. I'm not lying to you, baby. And I said, what time is it where you're at? And he says, it's 7.23, baby. And then I googled what time it was in Nigeria, and I sent him this, saying it's telling me that it's 11.25 where you are. No, baby, that's not me, lol. I said, your IP address says otherwise. That's not me. How did you found this out? I assured you that you'll be fine. I know the bad people in the world have spoiled we the good ones. Not everyone is a bad person. Just trust me for once, and I promise you will not regret knowing me. And I'm like, well, why would I trust you? You just tried to steal from me, and you lied about where you live. No, baby, I showed my other babies when I send their allowance and they got it, so don't have to be nervous about it. This was the time of where I live, 723 here, baby. Ugh, stop calling me baby. I'm a 35-year-old man and you're a scammer living in Nigeria. Now, you're going to tell me the truth or not? Hey, answer me. And I think that I scared him away before we could develop a real friendship. Maybe I was too mean. But let me just conclude by saying to my young lady friends who are tuning in, watch out for Stephen Dwayne. And for the rest of you, from now on, I'm only sending pictures of my feet if you pay me $500 in advance. Hey, special thanks to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video. Be smart, be safe, and get yourself a reliable VPN. Having a VPN like Surfshark secures your personal data and it's available for all your devices. You ever use public Wi-Fi? you need a VPN. You ever use hotel Wi-Fi? Well, you need a VPN. Are you sick of marketers stealing your personal data? Well, then you need a VPN. Protect yourself from the Stephen Dwayne's of the world. And if you're traveling and the country that you're in has blocked a certain website, a VPN is your way around that. So try the VPN that I use and go to surfshark.deals slash pleasant green for an 83% discount and three additional months for free. And as always, thank you for tuning in. Watch out for those scammers, and we'll see you next time.